I was originally planning on waiting a couple uploads down the line to make a part two for my Mario Kart musical trivia video I posted at the very beginning of the month to give a little breathing room, but man, Mario Kart has still been on my mind since then, especially with the booster pass on its way incredibly soon, which will undoubtedly be out already by the time of this video's upload. And I've been getting a lot of really great fact suggestions from you guys, as well as some corrections to mistakes I made on that video. So with all of that, I was like, okay, I'll just make it now. If you haven't watched that one yet, yes, this is a part two, so I'd recommend checking that one out first, but if you don't want to, here's a quick summary. <laughs> Okay, cool. Good that we're all on the, the same page. Okay, so in tried and true bizabazow at youtube.com fashion, I first have to point out some corrections and clarifications about the first part because I can never go a single video without mistakes. Previously, I talked about the reoccurring Super Mario Kart title motif across the series and how Super Circuit was the only one that didn't seem to happen anywhere. However, many of you have insisted that it actually does, in fact, feature a portion of the song in the title theme, either altered so much that it's difficult to catch or with a completely different melody over the same chord progression. And I can definitely see where you guys are coming from. There's a section of both songs that have a very similar progression, particularly these. <laughs> And it's fairly likely that this was intentional, but if the intent was to like make it identifiable or recognizable as such, they kind of did a bad job, honestly. I don't know, it just feels super stretchy to me and could have totally just been a coincidence. Honestly, kind of difficult to tell. But it doesn't really matter anyways because we have found the motif in a different song. I completely missed this thing due to this particular track's absence in all of the soundtrack playlists uploads on YouTube. But yeah, a remix of the song plays for every track during GBA Link cable multiplayer races if only one player has a game pack. And hey, this one was pointed out to me by a commenter, so thank you to Cowboy Luigi for that. So anyways, here's something that I actually did know about, just completely forgot while writing the last video. There's another game outside the Mario Kart series that has the 64 Rainbow Road motif in it. Well, it's not a motif, it's just a full remix of the song, but it's fairly obscure, so it's worth a mention. In F-Zero X for the N64, there's an unlockable cup called the Joker Cup that can be unlocked by coming first in all the others, and featured as the very first track is Rainbow Road, which is obviously a big nod to the Mario Kart series. Anyone living out outside of Japan with a regular old N64 and a regular old copy of the game, we'll just hear the track Driving Through on Max played over the race as this is what's in the base game. In order to hear some theme-appropriate Rainbow Road music, however, you'll have to have the Japan-exclusive and long-since discontinued Nintendo 64 disk drive, as well as the Japan-exclusive F-Zero X expansion kit, which actually patches the song out and this in its place. Okay, now some new stuff. Let's talk about all double dash, double exclamation points over here. Like the last one, I'll start with a few fairly obvious small musical nods in the game. There's the start of the Mario theme and the intro of the Tilda Kart course. The start of the Mario 3 boss battle theme is the jingle that plays when you lose the shine and shine thief. And the Mario Sunshine Delfino Plaza theme mixed in the trophy ceremony for this game. we have another motif to talk about that I honestly hesitate to call the motif as it only has one instance past the original and a few sort of shaky ones in terms of potential intentionality, but motif is fun to say, so. This track is probably the other most iconic track to come out of this title next to Rainbow Road and, well, the circuit theme and probably Baby Park. This little section in particular is what we're looking at. This melody line makes a metal as hell cameo in Mario Kart 7's Bowser Castle. Oh. 
I fucking love powder. I want to breathe fire. There's some that are a little more ambiguous as to if they're simply coincidences or not. Twisted Mansion from Mario Kart 8 has a melodic structure that's super similar to this section that a lot of people have pointed out as a reference. It definitely sounds like it at the very least. There could be some possible inspiration taken from Double Dash Bowser's Castle, which interestingly enough was a song shared with the Luigi's Mansion battle course in that game. So if it is an intentional nod, it was likely to that specifically given the shared ghost theme. However, although similar, the two melodies are noticeably off from one another. The amount of discrepancies and alterations between the two makes me think it could very well just be a coincidental similarity yet again. Weirdly enough though, there's a track from an actual Luigi's Mansion game that adds another whole layer of confusing fuzziness to all this. In Luigi's Mansion 3, people were quick to notice a melodic similarity to, this time, Twisted Mansion itself. In Floor 3, the hotel shops, you can hear this. I feel that this one has a bigger chance of being intentional. It sounds a lot closer to Twisted Mansion than Twisted Mansion does to Bowser's Castle. But once again, the structure is just different enough that I couldn't really say for sure. Wouldn't blame anyone for thinking so, but I need some sort of confirmation from the Nintendo folks to personally buy into it. Okay, ramblings aside, here's something that is definite. DS Airship Fortress. It's an amazing course that like really needs to come back. It's a shame that Seven was the only one to do so. No, no, there's, there's no other real Mario Kart installment that has done that that I know of. I have no idea what you're flapping about. The one thing that I'm kind of met on with this course, ironically, is its music, actually. It's not terrible, it's just a little bit boring and doesn't really fit the theme a ton in my opinion, but I did gain a lot more appreciation for it after noticing that it's actually a variation on this game's Bowser's Castle, which is a neat little through line for the game. I fucking love Bowser! Speaking of Mario Kart 7 that I mentioned like a few lines earlier, this game has a treasure trove of musical secrets. Once again, I'll get the easy ones out of the way and then get into the good stuff. Piranha Plant Slide has little tiny nods to the Mario theme and underground theme littered throughout as you probably knew or could have guessed. DK Jungle uses DK Island Swing from Donkey Kong Country pretty heavily, of course. And obviously, Woohoo Loop and Maka Woohoo both use the Wii Sports Resort theme. It's literally just the exact same song, but with Mario Kart 7 3DS instrumentation, so I don't really need to play it. However, there is something kind of interesting regarding the Wii Sports Resort based battle track, Woohoo Town. In Mario Kart 7, all of the battle courses use remixes of the exact same song, each one arranged to fit the theme of their respective courses, including Woohoo Town. But when this track was brought back from Mario Kart 8, when this track was brought back from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Kart 7's battle theme was not used, instead replaced with a brand new arrangement of the Wii Sports Resort theme. This makes Woohoo Town one of the only two retro battle courses in the series to get their original tracks replaced with a brand new arrangement of a completely different song. The other one being GameCube Luigi's Mansion, also in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is honestly a weirder case. As I brought up earlier, the original course in Double Dash reuses the game's Bowser's Castle track. GameCube Bowser's Castle does not appear in Mario Kart 8, so you'd think it would make sense for them to just remix the song in Mario Kart 8 style, maybe even with a more spooky Halloween-y sound effect the track's theme this time. But instead, they pulled from DS Luigi's Mansion, which is a Grand Prix track, not a battle course, mind you, and remixed it for this game instead.
This is just so weirdly convoluted. I'm not sure why they went this route. What drugs were they on? <laughs> Mushrooms like Mario? Mushroom drugs? Okay, enough of that mess. Back to Mario Kart 7 with some more straightforward stuff. I already talked about how 7, the same as all the other games, has Super Mario Kart's theme mixed into its own theme. Well, apparently that wasn't enough for these gluttonous psychopaths who needed to shove yet another one in there. Yeah, Mario Kart Wii's main theme is in there as well and shows up several times throughout the game actually. I mean, I ain't complaining. I'm a big Mario Kart weir myself, as they say. No one says that, that's that's disgusting. Speaking of Neo Bowser City, there's actually a little more to it than just that. The reason it, like the credits, has that motif is because it combines the title theme of the game with its first track, Toad's Circuit, which also, like a lot of the other Mario Kart titles, is mainly comprised of parts from the main theme of its game. But if it couldn't get any better, there's also a short quote from 64's Toad's Turnpike. Look at that. Wow, I love this track so much. Really makes me realize how much I fucking love that. If you want something to wrap all these together and a nice little bow as well, then guess who's got you covered? Smash for Wii U and 3DS once again, maybe. The track Circuit, Mario Kart 7, takes these three tracks and mixes them together into one big epic tribute. You have Toad Circuit, of course. The title theme. which by proxy means there's also the Mario Kart Wii theme. And Neo Bowser City. Which also by proxy means there's the Toad's Turnpike quote. For the lengths that the Smash 3DS dev team went to make you remember Mario Kart 7, people really forgot the hell out of Mario Kart 7, didn't they? Hi! Future Ty here, in the editing room. I'm kind of sick today. Sorry my voice sounds a bit different. Yes, this is my actual, real voice. If you say otherwise, you will be blocked, banned, and reported on all social media. So, I'd so to back the fuck off if you're a hater, or bully, or- Okay, so, upon playing the Tokyo Bird Course in the new Booster Pass and hearing its music, I realized that it too also uses a section from Mario Kart 7's Toad Circuit. That's all. Back to tie in the past. Alright, I have one more Mario Kart 7 track to leave off on, and that is Wario's Shipyard, another really unique track that I really want back. This is Eminem's Shipyard now. To overcompensate for the fact that this track has like hardly anything to do with Wario at base level, they flung all the yellow and purple paint they had onto any surface that it would stick to. But don't worry, the music is picking up some major slack in this department because we got some cool Wario Land musical references, specifically the stage one theme, which also acts as the main theme of the game. The track is comprised mostly of variations on the intro to the song, as you can hear right here. But the more iconic main melody is quoted super briefly here in the middle as well. I really 
really wish more Mario Kart songs would do this sort of thing, like quoting little bits of songs from elsewhere in the Mario series to aid to the theme of the track. It's just super fun to pick up on and can really elevate these tracks to being even more special. Mario Kart 8 does this a lot with its Nintendo crossover tracks, as you probably know, but we'll have to talk about that another day. Hope you all enjoyed this episode and maybe learned something. Now, if you'd excuse me, I have. I can make one rhyme with an F in Mario Shipyard. Thank you for watching. As always, be sure to let me know if you have any other musical tidbits to share or if there's any other game series that you'd like to see me cover in the future. And I'd like to give some thanks to my Scrunklies over on Patreon. Thank you for supporting me. Luca Baba Booey, Spider Bee, Zoe Steele, Somni Snake, Just a Penguin, Kuza, Equinox Music, Dewey, Prism, April B, Creative JK, Adelaide Parade, Malin, Aridash, Galaxy 569, Chico Mode, Caleb Hodgdurfer, The Siderian, and Xylo. If you'd like to join these wonderful folks, you can check out my Patreon in the link in the description. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and peace out. Stuck inside of a Mario Kart race.